What's up guys, Winter Kills here, welcome back to, not welcome back, but welcome to a new series. I've been wanting to do like, sort of like a one-on-one -on -one discussion video. Um, I don't want to have like a set schedule for it. I know you guys like, you like the lab series and I've been trying to uh, reboot it. I was going to do a lab for like all of YCS Pittsburgh, but... My one friend, Adam, he's out of town. Uh, other people have been busy, and it just hasn't been able to form form together. To We haven't been able to form one uh, of those videos. <clears throat> and I'm trying to set it back up, reestablish it, um, and get that series back going. It's not done. I just haven't had time to get around to uh, recording one. So that's where that is. But this... This is not going to have, like, a rigid schedule either, because this, this is, like, easier to record than that, um, obviously, because it's kind of me recording myself, talking about the game in general, just anything related to it, um, whether it be, like, it's sort of like a way to cover everything that's going on at, in the actual game itself, my experiences, my thoughts on it, and anything else in general about the channel, about whatever, be able to put it all in one video, and I think I'm just going to call it, the, like, the game state, or open game state, or something, it's like a term you can use actually in the game, and stuff like that, so I might, I might name it something along the lines of that, but we'll have to see how that goes, I don't know, what do you guys, what do you guys think of the name, I think it's kind of, uh, eh, I don't know, it could be better, I guess, but I guess the first thing I wanted to talk about and I probably should have, like, a list over here, but I don't, because I'm unprepared. This is, of course, something I just, I'm, like, winging it right now, but the, uh, one of the first things I want to talk about is the, uh, the emergency ban list, e whatever you want, if, whether or not it's an emergency ban list or just a regular ban list, I don't know. Um, to me, it seems like an emergency ban list. I don't know if they called it. Some people tell me they weren't calling it. It's like, everybody else is saying it's an emergency ban list. I don't know. I don't really care that much. But, um, obviously you guys know that Norn was banned, uh, and Terra Top is to one. Um, and if you don't know what happened with the new ban list, uh, you should go watch my video where, uh, I go over the ban list, uh, live, live reacting, not really a live reaction to the ban list, but, uh, just going over it on the actual website, so you can go check that out if you'd like, but... Norden banned, tear top to one, and of course now you guys know, maybe you don't know, but I'm playing pure zoo kaiju. Uh, I don't know why I just didn't play it at the YCS. Um, I probably would have done better if I just played pure zoo, because luckily I had a, a set of barrages to borrow, which I'm still borrowing barrages, but I'll have to be giving those back to my friend when he gets back, my friend Adam. Because he's going to be playing uh, Zoo Draco, which I think, in my opinion, is the best deck uh, right now, even after the list and before the list, and stuff like that. So I'll have to get myself a place. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Um, I think I got some people, though, who are willing to sell slash trade them to me, so that's good. So I should be able to secure a play set. Because that's literally the only thing that I need for the deck. I've got everything else I need. Um, but the other day, yesterday... Uh, on Saturday, I went to my local card shop, and for our local tournament, we didn't uh, have enough people there for a tournament, so we just kind of hung out, me and a couple friends of mine, and um, we were playing New List, obviously, because uh, like once a new ban list comes out, and it's like kind of weird for this one because there's so much time in between when they announce it and when it goes into effect like it's all the way june 12th which doesn't seem that far away but it's farther than you know usual it's usually like a couple days maybe a little less than a week for the new ban list goes in fact at least that's how it was with the last one when order and brio came off the list surprisingly enough um but this one we got a bit of a wait it's right before nats on the 12th of june and uh like i've got our locals, which we're going to constantly be playing the new list at, because our locals is more competitive base, it's more uh, free form, not as strict. Uh, we are still an OTS store, but we, we like to um, sort of just... Mm, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, cater to the more competitive audience. Uh, it's not 
so much casual. It's more competitive. Like everybody wants to play the newest, test the newest. Uh, a lot more meta there as opposed to the other locals I go to on the fr on Friday nights. Um, it's a mix usually, but they always play whatever list is legal currently. They don't ever budge on that because no, not everybody would agree on it. That's the only way I'm sure they would allow something like that. But no way. Just the player base there. I know them. It's just no one would agree to that immediately. Uh, but to get back to what I was saying about the ban list originally is that with me playing pure zoo I was kind of like lost on how I was gonna uh, keep playing the deck without the whole fusion sub combo until I learned up a few combos that basically net you pretty much the same field uh, dried and emerald turn one uh, just involves ram ram and doesn't always have to involve ram ram it's actually pretty easy to pull off uh, whether you're normal swing you're at, you're getting off an invoker or you're getting it off a, a barrage or whatever. A um, couple combo videos online and just, you know, stuff my friends have told me, like, an easier way to do it. And still combos you could have done even when Norton was illegal. Uh, so that's good. There's still ways to play the deck. And I know a lot of you guys probably don't play Zoo, but I know there's a, a few of you that probably do. So we're in the same boat. Uh, and I did, I did put together a Mermail list. And speaking of Mermail, the new card that was announced, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but the uh, I did try a Mermail Zoo build, and it just wasn't working together like I thought it would. Because, uh, like, obviously you can use Abyssosia to get rid of Teus to go into Invoker and all this stuff, um, but it's not, like, necessary. Like, it's just two engines that don't work well. I think somebody told me, like, in a comment in a video that they tried it themselves, and it was just bricky and it, it kind of was bricky and i was testing it against my friend who was playing invoked with fucking like way too many hand traps i think he was playing three ghost ash uh two droll knock and like two ghost ogre or some shit like that and a max c and boy oh boy playing that mermel zoo list against the invoke deck was it wasn't even like the invoke deck that was winning it was just his hand traps uh so he all was and like i main my bodies my body is a shield because I picked up DT ones and they look crisp, they look really good. Because um, it, it helps stop uh, Ghost Ogre, which is like a big uh, issue. It also stops board wipes and Dryden and stuff like that. That's why I really like my body right now. Because I think your board can be really fragile to board wipes at the moment, um, especially Zodiac. Because the recoverability is down just a little bit, not uh, like a tremendous amount. Where it's like, oh, I can't play this deck anymore. And it's just board wipes hurt a lot and. Uh, losing your board to a Rageki, a Slumber, or a Dark Hole, turn one really sucks, so my body is a good counter to that. Um, also good in the mirror and also against True Draco, of course, if Masterpiece is not affected by spells. Um, or if he can be affected by spells and stuff like that. Uh, but it was just the hand traps and the, the Mermail engine wasn't going well with the Zoo engine. Uh, they work best separately. Um, so the only two decks I currently own are Zoo Kaiju and Mermail. I have DDD still, but I'm not. I'm not playing the deck. It's just. It's just not gonna happen. At least until uh, Crystal Wing is reprinted, because I sold mine off, um, doubled my money because I paid ten dollars for it. You remember that? I actually paid nine dollars for it. I sold it for twenty two. Uh, uh, official vendor at the YCS. I didn't sell it to somebody under the under the table. You know stuff like that. It was an official sale to an, a vendor that was there because I know somebody said you, you shouldn't say you sell stuff at a YCS because blah blah blah. But I do appreciate that uh, looking out for me. But I did sell it to an actual vendor that was there. They were buying Crystal for twenty, so I was like, "Fuck it!" I bought mine for I literally paid nine dollars for mine because I bought three packs. If you haven't seen the Crystal Wing Challenge, go watch it. Good video. Um, but yeah, I was able to sell that. But DDDs, I'm just kind of keep them stashed somewhere. And then even when Link Format comes out, it'll probably just be R.I.P., honestly. I love the deck, don't get me wrong. Like, I don't hate DDD, I love the deck. It just sucks that I'm not going to be really able to play it at its full potential once Links are out. There might be a way to play it, but I don't know. I'm just not too interested in figuring what that weight is. and I'd rather just wait to see somebody else do it. Because um, I'm not that creative, to be honest. <laughs> But uh, Mermail, I think I'm just going to keep Mermail the way it is. Uh, I think I'm going to put together a list for that deck. Uh, I had to sell away some of my high rarity stuff. Luckily I had the same cards and lower rarity. Um, like Dragoons, Marksmans, 
and stuff like that and Taesis. But now I have two Ultra Taes and one Ulti. I have to get rid of the Ulti for an Ultra. It's just going to drive me crazy. It's one of the reasons I don't want to pick play the deck right now is because I, I have mix-maxing mix rarities of Taesis. If I can just get an Ultra Taes, I'll be set. Um, but yeah, and I think I'm just going to be playing the Zoo Kaiju. Uh, new list, exclusively at my locals, and there's an upcoming cash tournament, which I was talking about on the stream I had the other day, because I started up the stream again uh, for the first time in a couple months, ever since we did the, the Playmat giveaways, so uh, for 4,000 subscribers, and we're almost at 5,000, which is absolutely crazy, so thank you guys so much for that, all the support. But I was talking about this cash tournament coming up on the 27th, uh, near where I am, and sort of near where I am, um, and I think I'm gonna, and they're gonna have the new list, or not playing new list at that tournament, so I'll be able to play the old list with Fusion sub and stuff, so that'd be interesting, uh, because I'm, like, playing Hindered right now with the, the list that I currently have, like, without Fusion sub and Norden and Instant Fusion, and, like, the thing is, like, I was playing Zoo with the one Terror Top and the one, uh, Take Time Warg, and don't get me wrong, like, I, I still want to try the Pride of Plan Engine with Brilliant Fusion, but, like, I literally don't miss the Terra Tops or the Instant Fusions. I was going to play a Carbonola Warrior. I, was like, I, th I thought to myself, you're going to want to play a Carbonola Warrior. You're going to really want to play one just so you can get a free level 4 on the board to help make a rank 4 or something. Never missed it once. I might still play Carbonola Warrior and, like, a Nat Beast or something. Because I think that would be a really good counter to what Pendulums are going to be. I know they're getting a lot more support in an upcoming set. It wasn't really supposed to be like a structure deck, but they changed it to like a sealed product set, uh, like packs and stuff. Damn you, Konami. Um, but there's like a lot of broken magician cards in there, so uh, to be able to have a counter to that would be nice. Um, but what else was I going to say? Yeah. The the one Terra Top, the one Norden, uh, or the one Terra Top and the one Take Time Borg, they like, it was disgusting, like how much I was drawing in to the Terra Top and not the Take Time Board. And the time I did draw to the Take Time Board, I drew Terra Top for turn. So I was like, it was still stupid. Didn't wish I was playing Insta Fusion, although, like I said, I might play a Glow Bulb and I might play uh, Carbonola and like maybe two Insta Fusions uh, just to set up that play. But then again, you gotta worry about playing like how you gonna get your Glow Bulb engraved. You can't really search it. Um, stuff like that. But then again, maybe you can play like one of my other friends' build. He played like a 60 card Plant Zoo Brilliant. Uh, build with like lone fires and stuff so that'd be maybe an interesting way to do that you could even use your zoo monsters at that point uh as your earth and your earth tuner with a uh, glow bulb so who knows there's there's room for innovation in zoo now a lot of innovation and i definitely i did order the part of plan engine i do want to try that but i was just gonna you know what fuck it i'll play pure zoo take out the mermail for now and just tr play it and i played against pendulum uh you know magic specter pendulum and uh <laughs> Literally, I opened the stones like every single game and just destroyed him. Even if I had to go second, like partially just because I opened Twin Twister for his usually like two set back row, I didn't care to hit his scales. I'd leave the dry and hit the scales, or I'd have a D barrier and a strike set anyways. Just call Pendulum or strike the Pendulum summon in the first place. Like easy, easy victory right there, and not counting like cards like uh, you know. Order and cards like and I spell fragrance, which give you such a huge heads up in that matchup. And cards like unending nightmare, um, very very good counters to pendulum. But then again, pendulum call counteracts unending nightmare, but that's what imperial order is for. <laughs> Even though it's a one of versus a three of, you know, it's it's open to debate. And like one of the other things I want to talk about is like later you played paleo, he loves paleo. It's like his favorite goddamn deck. <laughs> I don't like playing against Paleo too much, um, uh, but it was a little tougher, it was a lot more grindy. Uh, I think I definitely made a couple misplays against him, but eh. I'm not really too worried about seeing Paleo in the upcoming format as I am seeing Pendulums, which in my opinion is still a really easy matchup because you have a card called D-Barrier, D-Barrier, D-Barrier. Of course, they could play D-Barrier against you. And then it's a matter of who wins the dice roll. And I think it's a dice roll-driven format right now. What do you guys think about that? Let me know. I think it kind of comes down to, like, who wins the dice roll currently. Um, that's kind of how it was at the YCS. Like, even though with the deck that I was playing, you know, the Dino Zoo stuff, uh, it was. I kind of felt like it was 
dice roll heavy because there was a lot of games when I lost a dice roll and I had a really good going first hand, like really, really, really good. And the other guy just went first, opened better, and had the counters for my mediocre going second hand at that point. So it is what it is. Uh, hopefully that will sort of change uh, when links come out. I'm kind of interested to see how link format's going to play out. That's what I've got Murmel for. Uh, I don't know how Zoo's going to be in link format. We'll have to find out. Uh, maybe they'll be good. Maybe there'll be some easy way to just be able to allow yourself to go dry in Emerald Turn 1. Uh, maybe slowing it down by adding an extra card. Maybe playing card like a card like Gofu uh, to get your two tokens uh, and a level 5 tuner. I think that'll be viable. It's just one extra card you have to hard draw into. Uh, and then you can still do your, your regular Zoo combo. So... I'm kind of hyped for that. And it's definitely going to change, like, how the game plays. It's going to be a huge, like, slap in the face to how the game is played. And I'm kind of ready for that. I'm kind of ready for a lot of change and inv innovation and see how things go. Of course, there's going to be a lot of expensive cards, like Firewall Dragon and Decode Talker. And it's going to be, uh, I have to spend more money on cardboard. Um, which is kind of why I'm, like, debating on whether or not I want to buy Barrage. But then again, I kind of have to for the time being, which sucks. So hopefully I can get them for cheap is the plan. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to pick up True Draco. With, not with the, the diagrams and the and the uh, Masterpiece. Not that Masterpiece is that expensive. Masterpiece is only like 25 bucks a copy, thankfully. Uh, Ash Blossoms are out of hand right now, no way. Um... But we're trying to work with what we got. That's the plan. Uh, anything, like, upcoming, I guess, now for this part of the video, anything, like, upcoming on the channel that I'm trying to do, obviously continue this series. Um, I would like to continue the stream. Uh, I'm not very good at streaming long periods of time based on, like, how my daily schedule is. So I'll try to stream, like, two hours uh, as often as I can like upcoming not like immediately active but i'm gonna definitely try and like one other thing i wanted to since i have you guys right here with me now not on like my twitter page which you should follow if you're not already is like for the streams the only thing i've ever really streamed is ygo pro um which allows me to interact with you guys a little bit but not that much um it's usually one at a time then it's like okay i play you next play you next play you next play you next like blah 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 um, and I kind of want to mix it up, but, like, I don't know what else I'd do on stream other than doing, like, IRL Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I'd like to live stream matches, but I have no way of doing that currently. I mean, I guess I do, but it, I haven't really tried it out yet, you know what I mean? There'll have to be a, a test for that someday. Um, maybe soon. Who knows? Maybe, because I'd have to stream from the computer in my kitchen, which is not a great computer. Uh, believe me, it's not, and I don't, I, I don't want to stream a horrible quality stream just so I can say, yeah, I'm, I'm streaming live duels and stuff like that. Um, but the thing is, like, they're just not Yu-Gi-Oh related. Like Overwatch, I don't know if, how many of you guys play Overwatch. If you're on, if you've subscribed to my other channel, The Dead of Winter, which you should if you haven't already. Link in the description. That's not a plug or anything, but <laughs> um, Overwatch. So anything else uh, that I can play with you guys, uh, interact with you guys more on a daily basis, and just kind of maybe start with YG Pro and then go into like Overwatch or something, or vice versa, and just mix it up, you know, just mix it up a little bit, get a little variety in there, so I'm not constantly streaming the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, because there's like only so many decks that I, I'd want to play, because I'm trying to get more into the competitive scene, um, and then I just have to play Zuzu over and over again and stuff like that. I'm sure you guys get the point, what I'm trying to get at. Just trying to get some variety in there. So it's funner for me and maybe hopefully funner for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I do want to do test hands. I do want to do a updated Zoo profile, uh, like a pure Zoo Kaiju post ban list. Um, Hopefully you guys will watch that. Hope you like that. Um, I know a lot of you guys aren't uh, meta players. Maybe you are. I don't know. Um, which I don't really care that much whether or not you play a lot of meta or you do. You don't play a lot of meta. It doesn't really affect me. So long as you enjoy the content for what it is. 
um, and not what's in it necessarily, I guess. Because uh, I know, like, whenever, anytime I usually post a video with, like, the top tier meta deck, it only does really well if it's playing against something that isn't meta. So, like, if it's, like, DDD versus Zodiac, I remember that video did, got, like, 20,000 views. It was, like, insane or somewhere near that. So, we'll see. Test hands, I definitely want to continue. Um, it's probably going to be for just zoo stuff right now. Because uh, the dino stuff, I no longer have. Well, I still have it, but I'm selling it to somebody. Um, and what else? What else do I want to talk about? What else do I want to add in? Um, Mermail stuff, like I said... It's going to be a hold on that because I do need to order some stuff for Mermail. I still need to order, uh, I want to order more Super Rare Pikes and Guns, not Guns, yeah, Guns, Super Rare Pikes and Guns. Um, I need to get rid of that Altitea somehow, and I need to pick up some Spheres and some Lins for that new card that's coming out. The new card, it's eh. Um, it has its implications. A lot of people said like, oh, it's a win more card, it's not necessary, it's... Not the greatest, but I, I think it has a little bit of potential in it. We'll, we'll see. I don't think it's going to be a 3 of like, Neptibus. Definitely not. Uh, people are, like, all bitching about, like, oh, Mermail's getting more. It's not that, it's not that great. It's not, it's no Teus. It's no uh, Dragoons. It's no uh, Diva. It's no uh, Neptibus. You know, it's, eh. It's all it is. It's, eh. It's a toss-up. It could be good. It's a toss-up. It could be bad. Somebody could be like, oh, you could use it this way, and it's broken, but I doubt that'll happen. Um... But yeah, Zoo, Kaiju, and Mermail are pretty much what is in the future. Um, unless I get my hands on something else to to play around with. And I, I do want to start uploading different types of videos. That's why I'm starting something like this. So if you guys enjoy it. And let me know if you did in the comment section below. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to cover. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. As always, guys, we're going to kill the center out. We'll see you in the next one.